Hello, it's Leon from Sleep Tag Exterminators. Today we're going to be talking about uh, sealing in apartment blocks, how to seal floors. Uh, this is my own apartment block, it's 36 units. It's uh, four stories. And uh, let's go in and take a look at some rentals I'm doing. Okay, here we are on the apartment block. Here we are, we're looking out the window, we're on the fourth floor here in the suite. And we're looking back down at the baseboards. And let's take a look at this uh, at this baseboard over here. Oh, the floor, of course, is gone. And the baseboards are gone, so we're looking here at this edge. And you'll notice that there is uh, no gaps at all. It's just completely sealed all the way through. Uh, there's a concrete wall directly behind us over here, and uh, that's been sealed with mortar. And it, there's a, because it's 1961, they sealed it with a, uh, some kind of gypcrete. It's not drywall, it's a, it went on as a liquid or a paste. And so the, these walls are completely sealed, which is really good for me. Uh, and by the way, this is a, a pan poured uh, concrete floor here as well. So it's, this entire floor is, is impervious to bugs. There is, there is no going through. Uh, that's great. Uh, on the other hand, we do have some plumbing penetrations and electrical penetrations. So let's show you what I did there. Or here is where the, uh, the baseboard are at, it's a hot water heat. So the plumbing goes through the floor and what I did is I sealed it with uh, expanding foam uh, to make sure that there is no, uh, no hole anywhere. I'll show you another example. Let's go over here to the kitchen. All right, here's the electrical plug. And uh, of course, uh, the electrical's got to come from somewhere. And so there's a hole through my nice uh, sealed floor. And so again, I took expanding foam through it and sealed it. Uh, so in the end, what I have is a basically sealed unit. Uh, there are no gaps or holes between this suite and the next suite, up or down, which is great. Even uh, when you get to the electrical plugs, right here, the bug, if he climbs inside, will get to the bottom and he can't go sideways, he can't go through. If he wants to get back out, he has to go through here. Now if that bug goes straight up, straight up, 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 and hits the ceiling, See if it focuses there. There we go. Now we're on the ceiling there. Uh, it still has to get through uh, the next layer, which is the other person's floor. And so we're completely sealed. Uh, even electrical wise, uh, uh, baseboard wise, uh, penetration wise through the, through the plumbing. And uh, the reason I mention this as a, an exterminator is that uh, over the last three years we've had 10 cases of bed bugs and all of them in isolated. Uh, that means that uh, almost no suites uh, were actually touching another suite that had bugs. They were always separated, they were always scattered throughout the building on all floors. Uh, there was only one case where we actually did have some bugs uh, that were touching like, uh, one suite on top of another suite. Uh, but it also so happened that this uh, person on the second floor who had bugs dragged his mattress uh, uh, down the stairs right past uh, the main floors uh, suite above and out the door and so it could just as easily have been mattress dragging that uh, that caused that uh, uh, those bugs going up and down less likely from the spread from the, the suite but more likely from the mattress dragging anyway this is to say that uh, uh, we've had excellent success with uh, with controlling spread in the apartment blocks uh, uh, which is really good for the neighboring tenants for example if if there's bugs in this suite we can be assured that the people in the next suite aren't going to get bugs as they go through the walls and through the electrical. Uh, there have been some people that state that, uh, that ceiling doesn't work. And uh, you have to keep in mind, uh, well, what kind of building are you starting with? Uh, if you're starting with a timber frame building, uh, uh, there are so many holes and cracks and gaps that it'd be very, very difficult to, uh, to seal. And I'd say that uh, a failure in that regard uh, to seal in a wood frame building wouldn't be so much a failure uh, of the or of, of, of the concept. It'd be a failure of the people trying to steal a very porous building. Uh, at least in my building, uh, we've had tremendous success 
uh, with sealing. Um, and we'll leave it at that. <laughs>